hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to create a database and inside the database we are going to create one table for example we will create a user table so guys let's get started with it so first once you open your project you can see that your project name is like funda project now so let's right click on that and go to add option so inside this you can move to new item so let's click on that and here you have to select for your database so let's scroll down for the db you can see service based database so choose this option and name this database which is funda db i'm going to create that and add over here so it's loading so guys now let's select that data set and then let's click on next so retrieving database information and here your data set name is ready so you do not change anything over here just click on finish so guys you can see that funda mdf database is created so now let's open this so how will you open that so there is one you just need to search server explorer so let's click on it you can find over here so all your database will be inside this so right now you can see that funda db is over here let's open this and here is your table folder so let's create one user table into this so right click and add new table over here let's add all the columns for it so now we have got by default id column field okay which is set with the primary key so now let's make this auto increment first so you need just to select this column id and go over here properties so if you don't find the option just right click on this id and select with that property and over here let's move to identity specification let's click on it and make this as true so let's click on that and one one it will be there so you want to make this from one value any data inserted it should start from one so that is the thing and now let's get back and create other fields so let us create first name which will be f name and this is where care we are going to set and we don't want to be null so just don't allow null then last name we are going to set with where care 50 where i don't want to allow and let's give gender where care not null and phone this is where binaries make sure where care you are giving where care null and one final email and then last one password let's give where care and not allowed so the guys now let's save this let's update over here so before updating you need to change the table name so over here you can find that it's written only table so you just need to rename this users so this will be my users table let's change and now let's update click on update update database now you can see that the status of it let's see still updating cool so it's got completed now updated so you can just refresh your db and see that your table user table is ready over here so guys, this is how we work on creating a database and creating a table so guys let's see next video about how to create a registration form in this web.net so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share